Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a pie chart. So we can use a pie chart to uh, analyze data and show trends. So um, what we're going to create our pie chart on, or what I'm going to create my pie chart on, is the gender analysis uh, section that we did some work on a few videos ago. So I'm going to create a pie chart to display this data. So the first thing I need to do is to highlight the data and the labels. And then I'm going to come up to the insert menu and I'm going to select the pie chart option here and it allows me to select a pie chart. So I'll just select a simple one, but you can, you can select 3D ones and it will draw them automatically for you. So I'm just going to select a basic 2D pie chart. Now you can see that we've got 50% um, of the pie is made up of the, um, the males and 50% of the pie is made up of females, which correlates to the data that we have in our gender analysis table. So I'm going to show you a few techniques now, a few things that you can do to change the way that this looks. So the first thing, the first important thing is you need to make sure that your chart has a title. Now, when you create a chart, you will notice that you have these chart design sections, okay, as I selected, and you can add chart elements uh, here to the chart. So I'm just going to click on add chart element and we're going to add a chart title. Okay, and it's going to be above the chart. So you can see this highlighted my chart title. And I'm going to call this gender analysis. Okay, when I press enter, it puts my um, my data label or my, my title into the chart. Secondly, I'm going to add some data labels to this um, to the uh, series here. So I'm going to drop the list down. And you can see I've got a data uh, labels here. I can, I can, I can put uh, those wherever I want to. So I'm going to choose to put those in the center. Also, if I go back onto um, the data labels option, I've got more data label options at the bottom. So if I click that, it opens up on the left-hand side of the page here. It opens up um, further options for us to, um, to enable us to format those data labels. So I might decide that I don't want to show numbers. I might want to show a percentage. So if I uncheck value and I show percentage, it then puts the percentage value in there, okay? I could also choose to put the category name in there if I want to, okay? So you can play a bit with those and uh, decide where you want or what um, options you want to apply. I can also click on the paint uh, pot tool here and it allows me to, um, to fill um, decide what types of fill I want on my on my um, labels. If I go on to text options, for example, it allows me then to choose uh, the different fills I can have on my text. If I, at the moment, I've got black text um, on my labels. If I decide I want to drop this down here, I could choose to change that to white text, okay? If I go back onto the label options, let's go onto the paint pot tool, solid fill, Okay, you can see that I filled it as white, so I can drop this, this down here and select that as a black background to make it stand out a little bit more. Okay, so you can play a bit with those different options. Again, if I go back onto add chart element, okay, I can go onto the legend and I can change uh, the position of the legend. So if I wanted to display it on the right hand side of the page, then I could do that just by clicking right. And then once I'm done, I'll click off my chart and there is my chart complete. So that is how you create a pie chart using um, data in your spreadsheet.